Yo, what's up everybody? So as you can see, I'm getting 475.5K per rep. Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to get that. And this is the fastest way possible. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to this rewind event pass in the back of the event and claim your time egg. This will be the first thing you're able to claim and it's free and a time egg costs 100 rewind cash. So then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna train up and that first pet that you get should be able to get you enough to get to the business, to beat the businessman really fast. So it's 115 total recommended strength. And well, unfortunately he only gives one cash every time you beat him. So you'd have to beat him a hundred times to actually go and get another of the time eggs. Now, if you want to beat him a hundred times to get another time egg, that's, uh, that's totally up to you or you can keep grinding, that's probably be the best way. And if you have no game passes, it's actually gonna take you just a little bit longer. But if you do have game passes, that 805 total recommended is actually right. And he actually pays five cash, five Orion cash every time you beat him. Now the cash sterling, you only have to beat 20 times to go and open one of those time eight. But once you grind enough, go for the corporate Titan right here. And it is a recommended 5.7 strength, and I believe he pays 25. Yep, he pays 25 rewind cash, so every four times you beat him, you can go and grab a time egg. And I'm telling you right now, you get as many as you can of those time egg pets, and it is going to help you drastically on the grind because these next two are not the easiest. Now, once you get a bunch of these, it is totally up to you if you want to actually start saving for the ink egg which actually has far better stat pets for this event. And yeah, then you can start grinding for the Detective Dave. I'd say don't grind for the Detective Dave unless you start getting the ink egg pets because those will help you drastically to get enough strength fast to actually beat him because this is 138 total recommended strength. And let's see how much actually Detective Dave pays. And I'm guessing like 125, yes, it is 125 that that pays. So you can beat him, hmm, I don't know, maybe like 40, 50 times and you actually get one of these eggs. I may be wrong. It might be a little like 70, 75 times, but still, you know, get as many of those ink eggs as you can. Get as many of those pets as you can because uh, Mighty Max is not gonna be that easy and he's like a total 1.1 recommended and give 625 cash and actually you get one of these legendary eggs but the legendary eggs won't do anything for this event and I believe this one, uh, let me see, because the 15% Royal Phoenix, you're gonna actually want to have a bunch of like luck boost for your eggs, like chance of hatching a gold pet and chance of hatching a void pet for them because you want them like void already when you first get them. And with a 90% friend boost and a 200% time boost, I am currently getting 516.3K. And also when you have enough strength to actually beat the Mighty Max, which is currently the final boss in this, just this first area, well, there's a chance of a best friend nine and it actually gives like, I think a times 10 and I'll show you what it looks like. Here is what a Blissful Dominus looks like, and it is a times 10 strength boost for this world. It is a baby, and it is a best friend eight or best friend nine. It's a rare chance to get a best friend nine. So once you do get that best friend eight or best friend nine um, Blissful Dominus, I'll show you where you need to go next. So as you can see, it says right here, totally not a sewer here. Now it says to do, find 10 lost items across the map. And I actually do have a video on that. It'll pop up right here on the right, the top right of the screen for you to go watch. So all of these items that are outlined in white are actually the items you have to go around here and find. So if you go watch that video, you will actually find all of them very easily. And no matter what you're doing down here, make sure you're grinding some type of strength. Like right now, I'm still grinding my rewind grip. And if you come over here, there's not gonna be a wall that requires like 35K rewind knuckles to actually break. So if you come over here, there's a rewind spin and it offers a bunch of good stuff like a Giga Sketch Tiger, which is actually a void uh, ghost and a black slime times 3.6 billion and gives times five for this event. Now, I don't know if that's actually a visual bug. It might get more than times five, but it is an automatic best friend 
eight and only 22 exist. And they've also added trails since the second part of this update. And well, the old time one is 100K and the most expensive is about 8 million. So as you go on and you get more and more cash, make sure you actually grab one of these trails because it's gonna help you in boosting your strength real, real quick. Oh, and it makes you fast. So here is the sixth boss of this event and this is called a skull defender and as you can see the strength that you need is actually far more than the mighty max or whatever his name was you know above the sewer or on the ground you know so 52.2 million total strength and how much does he actually give i think it's like 625 no it's actually 2.5k i was actually far off and once you beat him once, you actually get a key to open his door. It like gives you like 150K cash, which is actually very useful because if you get that 150K cash, you can go and probably buy like this old time or this time travel um, trail. And well, if you head back just a little further, there's going to be an area that says not boss hideout. So in order to get here, you're going to, I believe, you're going to need uh grip strength you're gonna need like 100 million grip strength and then you break in and there is the slimy dweller 287.5 now if you got to the skull defender very easily then you might get here very easily and if you look to your left when you're coming to this boss the shadow glove is a 0.1 percent chance to get him every time you beat the slimy dweller and the godly bones are 25 percent chance so you'll have a bunch of those I'll even show you like you will definitely get a bunch like you could just get a common one but those common you could definitely make into the rares the rares have plus 550 XP and well once you've beat him you can choose to keep fighting him and get the rewards or you can go to the next bosses and if you go to auto fight right over here you can tell like there are three more bosses after these two right here. It's club member, club leader, and a club founder. So let's actually go find them. Oh, also there is a hidden merchant. I actually skipped right past it. But if you go in here, you can get a winner winner six enchant for 1.2 million cash. I wouldn't recommend getting this early on. Get this when you have like a lot of cash coming in and a shadow glove, which is actually 400K, but I like to actually just buy like the fruits that are up there because like they're cheap and they're like not gonna deplete any of my money really so if you come back here this is a door it says rescue the trap developers in the sewer so i'll show you exactly where you need to go so if you go down from there and you see the leaderboard you just turn left and boom there's actually going to be a gate where you're going to actually need like 500 million wine grip and once you get in here you'll be able to talk to axel he'll tell you a few things and he'll actually tell you there's actually a key behind him. So there's a key that's gonna be right here. Now make sure in order for you to get the key, you wanna make sure you like X off of everything that you're using. Like say you're using like the bicep grip or knuckles, Well, you won't be using knuckles if you're in here. But if you're using biceps or grip, you just actually X off of it and then you'll be able to pick up the key and then you get back to grinding and then you head all the way back to that area. So you unlock the door and here's where it actually gets very annoying. There's going to be three sets of pillars right here in front of you. Obviously they're not here with me, but like it's going to say 200 million, 300 million, and then 400 million for each pillar. So basically what you wanna do is just basically get to 400 million for wine knuckles. As you can see, I haven't even trained it since. But yeah, once you break into here, you will actually see a mutant rat. And if you've watched one of my previous videos, you've definitely seen him already. And he looks very goofy. And then you have the Blorf Norg and the Snapper Spike. And Snapper Spike actually gives a nice amount of cash. But before you even bother beating them, I'm gonna show you that to-do list over there. All right, to-do list. Beat all the club members. Mutant Rat, Blorf Norg, and the snapper spike and i'm gonna show you how much i beat him 23,996 times that's actually neat that they actually show that like it just keeps going but right here is just where the quest where you'll claim like the money that you get you know uh it gives you an easy 1.5 million cash and you can actually just go and actually just buy this retrospect but if you have a lot of cash just go buy the jazzer so for this barbell it is actually 500 million required strength, 1.2 billion required strength for this one, and 2 billion required strength 
for this one. So you definitely want to get up here, get as much strength as you can and go and beat this snapper spike. 7.4 billion is actually a lot, especially if like you're just now reaching this area and you haven't been training a lot and you're just going from like point A to point B on this event, then yes, it's definitely going to be a lot. But hey, everyone, that is going to be the fastest way to progress in this event. There is actually no other fastest way unless someone just gifts you a bunch of pets, which would make it a lot, a lot, a lot easier for you. But hey, everyone, that's going to be all for this video. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe notifications on and comment down below what you think about this second part of the update. Is it good or is it not? And also comment down below, which area are you in? Are you still you know, above ground? Are you in a sewer or are you in this second area? Because I wanna know. All right, boys and girls, peace.